Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. You would have already seen it in the thumbnail guys. We have bought ourselves a boat. We gotta be very careful where we are. The people that own the property don't wanna show in anything. So we are, um, it's gonna be a little bit tight until we pull it out of the hole that it's in. But you can tell by his face, he's quite excited. Absolutely loves a boat. Um, was a love. It's not quite a sun seeker, but you can build up to that, Chris. We've been saying this for years now, and you can continue building up to it. So it was a lovely, up-together, used fishing boat, and it has been sat here for a number of years. And, you know, the people have said it will genuinely clean up very nicely. But we, the plan is to actually pull it out, check through it all, and actually try and tow this one home, mate, right? ultimately to save a few pound because it's quite big it's not really going to fit on the back of my truck well, well it, we are close to home we are very close to home so the plan is yeah pull it out we're actually going to go up. jack it up go through it check it out and uh see if we can actually get this one on the back of chris's truck and get it back to the yard right let's crack straight on with it mate So all we've done is backed, backed Chris's truck up to it, bit of WD-40 on the hitch, and actually we wanted to pull it out of that hole it's in, get it into nicer, harder ground, all the grass is underneath it there, and there's quite a few dips. And as soon as Chris edged forward there, if you want to edge forward a little bit, the wheels are actually turning. Keep going, bud, and I'll run round the other side. Is it? Sorry guys, I didn't wanna didn't wanna cut. I'm gonna have to go back a bit. Sorry guys, I had a ping pong table in the way there. They're going round as well. One of them looks flat. Lovely. Uh, again, we're probably gonna have to explain that. Where we are, we can't really recall too much. It's no, it's a bit awkward. No. So, yeah, let's get it jacked up and actually start it's checking through. Yeah, one of them's flat, the other side. And I would say, we jack it up, we give them a rock. I don't think we're gonna have to take the hubs off. No. I don't think we're gonna have to take the hubs off though. Someone's greased them up well before, which is fortunate, isn't it? Yeah, always. I'll get the little bottle jack, shall I? Yeah, we'll just check that there's no play in them, yeah. Definitely. A bit of extra air in them, yeah? A bit of air in that back one and the front one the other side. We actually got really lucky there guys um the one of the tires the other side was pumped up as was this one chris has just gone round top them all up with air but only this wheel here the wheel was actually on round the wrong way so the valve had hit the hub and knocked the valve off which ultimately has flattened the tire so it won't take any air but fortunately just on the front here it, it had a spare so that's taking air we're going to put that on and chris we're quite confident out of tow lovely wouldn't it can't really see any problems and as soon as we get it back to the yard of course we can have a, a better look and a proper look around it.
guys we are back at the yard there's a fair bit of wind here today so we're gonna get a little bit of wind noise but lovely little thing chris really nice little thing it it believe it or not they said it was really well looked after until it was parked there and there was a bit of a story but we're not going to get into that until it was parked there and it hasn't been used since it has got the fish finder in it they're digging that out for us because all of the wiring's in there but it is genuinely a really nice little boat mariner 30 horse this would go like a rocket with yeah, that little thing on there awesome. it's all fiberglass isn't it yeah. and it's not I know it's dirty, but it's not beat up, is it, at all? No. I'm going to come around this way, Chris, because of the wind noise. Before I cut in there, Chris has actually been round and sprayed everything up with WD-40. There's a tag on it there, Chris. Yeah. Might give us a bit of an idea of the year of it, because genuinely, we don't know. And at this point in the video, I don't know the exact make and model of this boat. I'm going to have to find out. I don't think... Port Guard Marine are still going, are they? I've not heard of them. I was in Maidstone. I mean, it's it's quite a long time ago. But yeah, guys, little fishing boat. We haven't even measured it yet. No, we haven't. What do you think it is? 14 foot? Yeah. yeah. It, is, it does look like a little 14 foot, doesn't yeah. it? And then inside, the cover blew off in some bad weather. And it's just been collecting leaves. But we got all of these cushions with it as well. There's a couple of little lock boxes there, Chris. Yeah. Unfortunately, no keys, but we'll try and have a look and see if anything's in there. It would be handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, the keys are not going to be in there because it's locked. But yeah, all the brackets there, all of the wiring, a couple of nice chairs and undamaged. This is the... Sorry, Chris. This is the wheel that we took off of it, and that was purely... Brown, it was ran the wrong way. It's bent that over. Don't which is out. which is a shame because it's a really good tire. It's perished that one. Yeah, it? I'm seeing looking at the bulge in it there, and the wheel's fine. I don't think the battery's going to take oh, a I charge. Don't. I don't. But there's some boys in there for it, mate. What is the plan? I think the first thing would be unseize the outboard. Yeah. Um, we'll see if we can do a. What unseize it so it lifts down? Yeah, and we uh, and we get the engine cover off. And then we'll see if we can um, get it to run, shall we? Yeah, I mean, these... Without an outboard, it's not really... Viable. For us, is it? No. We don't want to go... I mean, these little boats, all of them, you, look, we will literally buy anything. But you know, I've always bought and sold boats anyway. Back in the day, I used to buy loads and loads of fishing boats. They've always been good news. There's always someone out there for a cheap boat. And I think it's still got a value. Yeah. But how this would actually treble the price oh, by having that running yeah. and even though that engine looks like that it does i don't think it's done a lot of work well you can never tell can you there's it no good, there's no chips in the prop no big lumps missing or chunks missing out of it you've sprayed all this up ready have you i have yeah so i've sprayed all around on these linkages Oh yeah, and, I'll see. And there's a that, that safety there. That's forward and backwards, yeah. uh, steering cables, all of that sort of stuff. So let's get it in. Well, actually, it's quite late in the day now, isn't we'll it? Park but it up we'll park it up in the yard. Today's, tomorrow's another. Tomorrow's day. another day. Yeah. We we'll get this cover off. Let's get that running, shall we? Yeah. And then, and then what we do is, I know I always test drive the cars and everyone moans. What I do is I'll drop you off down the swell and I'll let you test this one, all right? Yeah? 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 We get you a little backup engine, though, I think. That's yeah. been sitting around for quite a while. Well, we could take more dinghy, couldn't we? As a yeah, we could, yeah. Little emergency vehicle. Right, back in the morning. The next morning. Of course, now we've both had a sleep on it and this morning come up with a bit of a plan. And it is really, really important that we need to know whether that engine runs because we're not even going to spend too much time on it. If that doesn't run, then it's probably not really going to be a viable project. I'm sure there's still a profit in it, but it's not really going to be... It's not the road we want to go down, trying to source a new engine for it and all of the other associated controls and parts that go with that. So we are just going to concentrate on... Chris is going to get a bunch of keys out try and sort a key out for it or even take the cover off and bypass the ignition get the plugs out of this make sure it's got a good spark check the oil just basically go through it and when i say oil i mean gearbox oil get some muffs on it get some water going through it 
get some fresh fuel in there and most importantly get that cover off so that we can have a look we don't even know what it's like inside there so let's crack on and hopefully let's get this one running Moving along very swiftly, as usual. Chris said, let's get out there, get it done. We've got a battery on charge. He's got one of his old mm, pressure sprayer for weed killer, water, chemicals, whatever you like. And fortunately, that boat did come, didn't come with a tank, but come with, I will get hold of it, the fuel line. So, we're actually planning, I'm just making a bit of a pressurised tank there. I've taken the cover off the engine and it's actually got fuel sitting in the bowl and looks very, very clean. Let me just show you. The engine actually looks really, really nice. Actually very, very clean in there, but you can probably just about see in there, guys, there's a lovely bit of fuel sitting in that bowl. And uh, we can probably actually just pop that bowl off and have a smell of it and it normally tells you whether the fuel's a bit musty but if that's the least of our problems we'll be happy because once we fuel it up it's going to mix new fuel in there and then ultimately push new fuel into it chris has got the controls in pieces there got the tester and he's basically just going to bridge it across and wire it up we've removed the old battery definitely don't think that's going to be taking a charge anytime soon but the isolators down there we've got the earth and the live it is all looking okay so chris is going to make that up and why he's doing that i'm just going to pop to my friends i just said have you got a plastic 45 gallon drum that i can nick and replace because i want to cut it up he said i'll do better than that rob i've got one here that's already cut up that i use for my boat so chris you've made a fuel tank up there mate well let's hope it's uh it won't, you, need a lot of pressure, will it? it won't need a lot of pressure at all. Pressure. Yeah. Well, the other tanks, they, the you just prime normal, up, you it? just literally prime it with the little squeezer. So we'll see how we get it's on. Popped out, guys. I've got the drum. And as you can see, the floor's all wet. Chris primed that. Uh, he actually bled the fuel system through. Pulled the little pipe off the end of it. I might as well show you guys, actually. Yeah, he, just drained the pot, he drained the pot, but it actually shot out a bit too fast yeah. and he's just washed the floor down. You've also chucked... In fact, you can do that now, Chris, if you want. Chris will chuck the jump pack on it and then... It spins, it spins over, over lovely, yeah. but we've got no spark. No, we've, got no we've got no ignition at the moment, so... Well, we're waiting for that battery to charge up. we just uh, see if we can work out wh where we can hot wire it you said there's quite a lot of wires in there On chris the should we show it well, once we get a battery on we'll be able to see find the power coming up and then back feed yeah and definitely some ignition yeah you've noticed in here there's actually something broken yeah there's a rod there rod end snapped off it's actually it. broken off yeah so just wants a new end cap on it by the look of it just, yeah and it's the same as these yeah which is accelerator yeah right that's no dramas is it no i'll go and check on that battery and throw that on mate Right, Chris has made a master key for it. Show us that master key, Chris. A flat-ended screwdriver. We filled the barrel up. We did try, Rob. Yeah, we did try. We did try. Show us that, tip it up. That's how many surplus keys Chris has got yeah. there. Because oh, you never know when you're going to need one, Chris. Yeah, and it's all important. No, we got the barrel full up as much as we're going to need in there. Um, we've got ignition. We've heard it beep, and you even spun it once, didn't yeah. you? Yep. We've got the battery in now, so it's got two chances. Do I need to put any pressure in this fuel, or are you just going to... Um, 
all I would say is if we lift the can up now. It should gravity feed. It should because it's already pumped all the air out of it. So it'll, uh, it kind of soft. Can it sit on that seat? Yeah, I'm sure it can. Yeah, that's quite, yeah, that's quite a bit there. Yeah, it should be all right. Yeah. Fire in the hole. Uh, choke. choke. Got the choke on. Tell me when, Chris. On. It's definitely out of gear, isn't it? Yeah, just, just. Oh, you can't put your foot against it. Yeah, no. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Shall I give it a little bit of throttle by hand? Yeah. I think, yeah. Maybe half choke. What wall, man? Here, Hang on, Chris, one sec. Yeah, I don't want to get my fingers too near anything. Try it without choke there. Oh, I've got a little switch under here. It says, it off. It says off, so. It says run and off, look, see that? Yeah, let's get the camera in there, yeah. I think it's in the wrong position, isn't it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right, we're all good there. Okay, Mate, all we can do is try. Okay. Yeah. The actual accelerator is... Uh, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver or something. That's right, I've got the pin here. Yep. Whip a plug out I, I think so, I think so yeah, yeah, definitely. We're going to have to cut there for a sec, guys. So a couple of charged batteries later, oh, yeah. we have been spinning it over, guys, and trying a few bits off camera, ultimately, because we don't want you to just sit here watching us trying to spin it over constantly. So Chris just said, actually recommended, whip the airbox off. We've done that and said, give it a little tiny sniff with some brake cleaner, just to like suck anything through that is stuck in those lines or in the carb it's got two chances hasn't it so right ready yeah. um i need to get me accelerator shall i pre-fill it or uh, shall i crank it and then you oh, it's gonna go That sounds good. We probably need, and it's pumping. We probably need to put the air filter back on now because it won't run with that. No. Thing. It's probably run too weak. So we'll put that on. Should we give it one more little run without yeah, the filter just to make yeah, sure everything's blown through? Yeah, ready? Yeah. Yes. So hopefully you would have heard Chris there, probably not actually. It won't run without the air filter on it. So we're gonna put that back on. Hopefully the fuel's got right through the system and we can get this one running. But it actually sounded really nice and immediately started pumping water. Excuse the unusual mess, but we actually decided out there we're just going to be we're fighting a losing battle really. Um, we had a good spark; it was firing sort of on a bit of ether there, and us we actually both decided it's probably block jets where it's been sat for so long. So we actually took the main jet out there, got the little what nipple cleaners uh, nozzle, nozzle cleaners, cleaners so, yeah. and, and actually took it out and run that but we couldn't see anything through that at all now you can see through it clear as anything and then we decided to take the little float out because even blowing down the main feed where am i looking here got it around the wrong way even blowing down that main feed there we was getting absolutely nothing so we took the float out took the needle out the bottom there chris is currently cleaning that up in his hand 
and as soon as we we put the airline on there and we've what we've done is just built up a little bit of pressure put it on the end blew it through and all of these black fragments actually flew out and now as soon as you put the airline on there it's clear as anything so we definitely add this bowl was still full of style pet it was you can, even though we yeah we haven't got smell of vision but so it ain't good here is so it it wasn't drawing it up there was it no so hopefully fingers crossed put this back together and uh should be hopefully yeah hopefully well we've had to try but quite a lot of stripping down there just to get the carb off i'm going to show it chris yeah. actually so it was only two 10 mils to get the carburetor off but you can see they're both there but it was so tight to get it out you had to undo it halfway then move the carb halfway out then get the rest of the uh, nut off and then of course the starter motor and the bracket was in the way so we had to remove those as well but it needed doing didn't it so let's get that built back up get it put back on honestly we was just saying chris is here by the way he's hiding in the chairs there we was just saying if we'd have recorded all of this it's actually taken us quite a few hours hasn't it yeah. so we took that carburetor apart and where we've got that little pump bottle chris pumped it up and straight away we had more petrol leaking out and chris said we're gonna to have to have that air cleaner off again and i said what it is where it's probably filled the bowl up it's overflowed we checked it, that's exactly what it was. So we know we've got spark, we know we've got fuel. The only thing we haven't got is accelerator because that little little bit's broke off there. So I'm unfortunately gonna have to do that manually and Chris is gonna use the master key and we're gonna try it. Might need a little bit of choke, we don't know yet. A little bit of choke, yeah. I, should, I might hope not in this heat. Um, one sec, mate. Just gonna get clear of all the wires. Yeah, try that. We have actually got a little bit of a petrol leak, but that sounds beautiful, that little engine. Sounds perfect, doesn't it? Let's investigate. Well, I think we cracked it, mate. Ironed it out, haven't we? Yeah. We're just gonna briefly run it up, show you what we've done. You can see a cable tie there, and because that cable's broke, and we can't get to the, the spring for the, um, the idling spring, the screw, what we've done is just wedge that cable tie in there, just to bring the revs up a little bit so that we can run it briefly and show you guys it's running and it's pumping water. Fire in the hole. As soon as I pull that cable tie out. Oh, she's idling. Not quite enough though, yeah. So what we actually decided to do, me and Chris was just having a chat there. He said, we've had the carb to bits. It's obviously been sat around for quite a while. Now we know that's a good one. You're getting on eBay, mate. Yeah. He's gonna buy a carburetor rebuild kit for it because we don't want to go out and do a C trial when it, it breaks down. So we're really, really we're happy with that. that, that rod in. Yeah, get a new one that of those. Um, we've got to do something with the transom anyway, haven't we? Because that is a little bit been a transom too long looks like it doesn't it so uh, what a lot of people do is replace it and then put a nice stainless plate around it yeah. it really does finish them off but that's another day another another chat we got around. we are proper chuffed i know it's not everyone's cup of tea a boat but it says it in our description in the videos we will literally buy anything we'll buy a boat we'll buy a van we'll buy a camper van we'll buy cars damage mechanical we literally buy anything i love a boat anyway Chris loves a boat, and that has, that's proper put a smile on our face. And I'll be honest, I've just said to Chris, I can't wait to clean it up. I'm, no, no, no. I love a clean up video, I'm excited. I'm gonna get straight on the phone to Jenny Chem, where it's got all that green all over it. Yeah. They do this, apparently, this product that's brilliant. You just spray it on and wash it off. So we're gonna get some of that ordered and get that cleaned up. But let us, I know what everyone's gonna say anyway, but let us know if you wanna see me and Chris out in the swell doing sea trials in that. I'm, I am looking forward to it, and I know that's gonna clean up really nice. 
Guys, also, the title just discussed at the end of the video with Chris. At this point in time, we actually seriously still don't know what boat it is because we was told it was a, an Orkney yeah. and then someone said it was a Shetland. a Shetland and then you read on the side of it that, Seahog? that it's um, is so it, sea it would come from a sea hog dealer that yeah. only dealt in sea hogs. I spoke to my mate earlier and he said, it looks like an early Wilson flyer. <laughs> We have, no. we have no idea. Do you know what probably would have helped? We haven't measured it. We guessed it was 14 foot. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll measure that off camera, guys. But I'm sure quite a lot of you... Actually, Chris has just gone out. So we're going to pause one second. Well, it turns out that was a good guess for me, actually, yes, for once. Sure 14 foot 6. Chris yeah. said it's definitely closer to 14 foot than it is to 15 foot. I can't wait to see what's underneath all that green, green grime. Guys, don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and we'll look forward to seeing you all very, very soon in the next one.